Turbofans are a type of air-breathing jet engine, widely used in aircraft propulsion. Through combustion, the turbines and fan produce thrust used to accelerate an aircraft forward. Flight Global estimates that over the next 20 years, 93% of the 43,725 aircraft to be delivered will be powered by turbofan engines. In this series, we'll explore the history and development of turbofans, what makes them different from other jet engines, and how they work from intake to nozzle. There are three major players in the commercial aviation turbofan market. General Electric, Rolls-Royce, and Pratt & Whitney. These companies also form the largest parts of three joint ventures. CFM International, International Aero Engines, and Engine Alliance. CFM International currently enjoys the largest share of the turbofan market. Nearly 22,000 of their wildly popular CFM56 engines are installed on aircraft in the Airbus A320, A340, and Boeing 737 families, with 1,450 more on order. Their next generation LEAP engine has 7,526 firm orders. Almost 5,000 of General Electric's CF-34 plants power CRJs and E-Jets, and their CF-6 flies A330s, 747s, and 767s. IAE's V2500 powers Airbus A319s, 20s, and 21s. The Rolls-Royce Trent family consists of nearly 3,000 units, with another 2,500 on order. Finally, the Pratt & Whitney PW4000 is installed on 779 aircraft, including the A330, 747, 767, and 777. Their newest offering, the PW1000G, has 3,846 firm engine orders for the A320neo series, C-series, MRJ, MC21, and E-Jet E2. The precursor to turbofans, turbojets, were constrained by the technology available at the time and were not fuel efficient comparatively. Between 1939 and 1941, Soviet scientist Arhup Yulka designed the world's first turbofan engine. He was forced to abandon his research and evacuate during World War II, and his engine design never ran. In 1943, the German-built Daimler-Benz DB007 became the first running turbofan followed quickly by the British Metrovic F3. During the 1950s, Rolls-Royce and General Electric both produced their first turbofan engines. In 1964, the GE TF39 was introduced as the world's first high-bypass turbofan. The TF39 produced four times the thrust of previous turbofan implementations. This design proved so successful that it was still in use until late 2017, powering a United States Air Force Lockheed C-5A Galaxy. Jumping forward to 1974, CFM International introduced their CFM-56, the most common turbofan engine in the world. It has achieved more than 800 million flight hours, has more than 550 operators, and at any given moment, more than 2,400 CFM-56-powered jet aircraft are in the air. For the Boeing 777, General Electric developed the GE90. The GE90 holds two records, highest bypass ratio of 12 to 1, and the highest pressure ratio of 45 to 1. The higher thrust variant, GE90-115B, became the world's most powerful commercial jet engine. Using these engines, a Boeing 777-200LR Worldliner flew over 21,600 kilometers from Hong Kong to London Heathrow in November 2005. This flight still holds the record for longest flight in a commercial aircraft. For the current generation of aircraft, GE produced the Gen X in 2006. The Gen X introduced composite fan blades with steel alloy leading edges and titanium aluminide stage 6 and 7 low pressure turbine blades. The Gen X features a twin annular pre-swirl combustor, or TAPS, that will dramatically reduce nitrogen oxide gases, and larger, more efficient fan blades for reduced noise. The Gen X engine was also the world's first commercial jet engine with both a front fan case and fan blades made of carbon fiber composites. Next, one of the newest additions to the turbofan family. The CFM International Leap delivers a 15% improvement in fuel consumption over the CFM-56. 
It also features new ceramic matrix composites and 3D woven carbon fiber composite fan blades, which can each hold the full weight of a 787. The ceramic matrix composites are tough, lightweight, and capable of withstanding temperatures up to 200 degrees Celsius hotter than metal alloys can endure. This allows the engine to operate more efficiently at higher temperatures, combusting fuel more completely and emitting fewer pollutants. Looking to the future, GE Aviation is currently developing the GE9X for the 777X series. It first flew on March 13th, 2018. In early May, the first flight test phase of two was wrapped up after 18 flights and 110 hours. This new engine offers a 10% increase in fuel efficiency over the GE90. The design features 16 carbon fiber composite fan blades down from 22 in the GE90 and 18 in the Gen X and an increased overall pressure ratio. Turbofans have come a long way since their invention almost 80 years ago. In the next episode, we'll be looking at some modern turbofan terminology.